After Epic Games releasing Tiny Tina's Wonderlands for free, I decided to make a modding guide on it. Finally, it's the only Borderlands game we haven't covered yet. One thing I do want to mention is a lot of people seem to be talking about the new policy saying, oh, you're going to get banned if you mod the game. So my view on that is that it's probably 99.9% .9 unlikely to happen. If you're only modding the game for yourself or with friends, then it's likely you're not going to get targeted. I believe that's more for the people who are exploiting the game and ruining it for people they join online. I just thought I'd quickly address that because I've got like two, three comments today asking about it. As usual, all the links you're going to need will be in the description, so when I talk about something, just go have a look down there and you'll be able to find the download. First thing you're going to want to do is go over to this GitHub page here and download the zip file. And you might be thinking this looks awfully familiar. That's because it is, it's the same one we used in our Borderlands 3 guide. However, this one's a little bit more complicated in the setup and requires you using the console commands. Now you're going to want to open up the game files. On Steam, just right-click the game, manage, browse local files, and you've got it up. Now for Epic Games, it's a little bit more complicated. Go to Downloads, Download Settings, and you should find your download directory there. In there will be all of your game files. You'll just be able to follow the same route as we do on Steam. Now you're going to want to go into the folder you just installed and drag those into the game files at the location I do. There's no need to extract it, so don't worry about that. Now you have successfully installed the mod loader. Now you're going to want to load into the game and press either the tilde key or for what works for me is like the little straight line thing. Now to get mods, just go down to the second link I left down in the description and find one that looks appealing. I'm going to go with the OP movement mod just because it's going to be really easy to showcase and tell if it works. Now all you need to do to install it is drag it into the SDK mods folder and reload your game. After you type in mods you should be able to see the name of what you installed. Then just type in the number that corresponds with that name and then type in E to enable. Thank you for watching the video and uh, yeah, join the discord.